What's up, everybody? Today we're going to take a look at Morphostra 2, uh, which has just been re-released for Contact full version. Now, previously this was a Contact player library and the price was a bit higher. When they release it for Contact full version, they're able to bring the price down quite a bit and of course you will only be able to use it if you have the contact full version so keep that in mind it's the same instrument now I have covered this instrument before I think a couple different times but I know that we kinda made a track with it if I remember correctly today I'm just gonna scroll through some of the presets but first I'm gonna show you how deep this instrument is um, so you have four different sound sources like a lot of the sample logic libraries here one two three four and we have this morph function here where the morph comes from as you can kind of morph between those four on the fly now I've just loaded up a preset but just to show you real quick how deep this instrument is we can go into each of these sound sources and change the sound if you don't like the um, preset that you've loaded maybe there's one core that in particular that you don't like simply go in here and just you know mess around scroll through the different ones and you'll get something completely different sound wise with the same sequence and effect so let's check this out You also notice how that in the middle is going. If you hit the play button there, it'll just stay still and you can see what each of these cores sound like. You can even record your own custom motion here in the middle by hitting the record button. So that is how that function works. Um, it's very, very deep. You can load so many different sounds, different sequences, different effects. There's a lot going on here under the hood. It's a very complex instrument. If you want to change the whole effects preset, you can just scroll through those and then we have a different sound again. very distorted there. All right, so I'm just going to scroll through a bunch of the different presets. We're going to check out all the crazy sounds that you can get from this, and here we go.
Now we're going to go and check out the single core presets. Those are all multi-core presets. You know, when I loaded one up, it had four different sound cores here and a whole bunch of effects all already programmed in. So why a bunch of them were sequenced and had multiple layers and everything. So when we go to the single core presets, they are categorized a bit more uniquely with the so once you click each one we have an additional bank here bizarre dark mysterious electronic effectual mixed emotion stingers world organic and you have different categories here different subcategories for each one so you can get them a bit more precise the way you want them to sound or the general mood you want to channel so let's check out some of these there's a ton to cover so i'm going to quickly check out some of these <laughs> 